More than 1,100 of some 5,500 known species of mammals are threatened and in danger of disappearing. A five-year study by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature indicates almost 200 mammals are in the highest risk category known as critically endangered. Craig Hilton Taylor is project manager for the organization behind the study. There's a huge number of species out there, 1.8 million of them, people estimate. We've only looked at a tiny fraction of those species. Almost a quarter of them have either gone extinct or are facing extinction in the near future. So it's a very worrying situation that we need to do something about quite urgently. The survey singles out extinction hotspots, countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Americas, where a rich ensemble of species face increased threat. Among the mammals in special danger are primates killed for bushmeat. Other species have declined because their habitats have been destroyed. Experts believe factors also include hunting and climate change. Taylor says identifying endangered species is difficult. We try to assess whole species groups wherever possible. So we've looked at all the world's mammals, all the world's birds, all the frogs, this year all the crabs, uh, freshwater fish in various parts of the world. So we're trying to make it as comprehensive as possible. The study finds that the Iberian lynx found in Spain and Portugal is so critically endangered, only about 84 adults remain. The Tasmanian devil from Australia has declined by 60 percent because of disease. There is some good news in the report. At least 5 percent of threatened species now have stable or expanding populations. Scientists maintain that countries need to form an international coalition to save species that cross national boundaries. They also say a long-term conservation strategy would slow down the rate of extinction. Chris Simpkins, VOA News.